Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Hello, everybody. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm okay. And you, teacher? Very well. Ready for the last class of the week. Very good. Okay. Vamos a esperar siempre un par de minutos. Pero igual si hay preguntas o dudas, pues las pueden hacer. Okay. Okay, everybody. Hello, good evening, and welcome to the English class. This is the last class of this week. So, how was your day? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Todos hemos avanzado, todos hemos hecho ya un par de cosas. ¿Alguna pregunta o duda con la plataforma?
Por el momento todo bien, teacher. Yo ya voy por el contenido 2, creo. Perfecto. Eh, bueno, vamos a empezar, de hecho, con la plataforma. Vamos a revisar un par de cosas. Solo revisar rapidito para, para ver cómo estamos. So, this is how uh, we start in the platform with the wine a point zero lesson objective. And it says, in this lesson, participants will listen to conversation about how often they do an activity. So this is about things that you usually do and uh, how often, right? Um, no, but this is not right. I always made a mistake, I don't know why. I'm sorry, let me just change this one. It's going to be pre intermediate. This one is it. Let's see. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so we're going to check now the first part. So, section number one, it says in this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others uh, by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Okay, so this is like the objective for the first one. And then we have the first video that it says, where are you from? As you remember, we were checking about uh, nationalities as well. So we can continue on that one. Then we have the 1.2 lesson objective. This one it says, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use positive adjectives. My, your, his, her, it's our, their in order to introduce their names and to express position. We also check uh, the second video that is about the statements with positive adjectives. And we also check that in the class. And then we get to the first knowledge check where you need to complete the sentence by choosing the proper form of B or the correct positive adjective. So in this one, do you have any question? Everything is fine. Todos hicimos ya esta parte? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Todo bien entonces. Vamos a continuar. Then we have uh, the 1.5 lesson objective that is by the end of this lesson, all uh, participants will be able to ask and answer questions with B using WH questions, words, what, who, where, when and how. And of course, we have an explanation with a little video, okay? And then we have the 1.7 knowledge check. And that is about WH uh, questions. Any question about this exercise? Any comments? No. Very well, no, teacher. Vancouver. Okay. Then we move to the 1.8 lesson objective that is in this lesson participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers will uh, be introduced. So we have the how's it going conversation, right? That is over here. Uh, let's practice this one, okay? Let's see how it goes. Um, who wants to uh, do the role play with me? A volunteer to do the conversation? Okay, perfect. So let's do it. Yo, yo empiezo. Uh, hey, David, how's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. I continue. Uh, chemistry. 
Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay, very good. So we have a few things that I want to review here. For example, how's it going? That is another way for you to say, how are you? How's it going? There are many ways, and this is very popular. Then it says pretty good. What is pretty good, do you know? Muy bien. Muy bien, bastante bien. So in this case, pretty is not an adjective, but an adverb. Aquí es un adverbio. And then it says uh, chemistry. Do you know what is chemistry? Química. Good. Química. Nice. And then it says in the same class. What is the same? Misma clase. Very good. And then it says, um, I'm on my way. What is I'm on my way? Me dirijo o me camino. Me camino. Okay. Something like that. This phrase, I'm on my way, is very common also to use it when you imagine that you are with another person or somebody calls you on the phone and you and they say uh, somebody says to you uh, please come home I need you here you can answer that one you can say I'm on my way ya voy de camino. let's practice a little bit more um, let's see Jorge uh, please do the conversation with uh, Maribel Ok. Eh, empiezo yo primero. Yes, please. Ok. Hey, David. How is it going? I thank you. How are you? Pretty good. So, are your class interested this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemical. Chemistry. Chemistry. Chemistry? Okay. Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I am on my way in the cafeteria. Now, are you free? Sure, let's go. Very good, thank you. Uh, we're going to do just a couple more. Uh, Susie and um, Katie. Um, yes, <laughs> Susie, <laughs> Susie goes, okay, whatever you want. Hey, David, how is it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are you class interested in this semester? Yes, they are. I really love term chemistry. Oh, ¿cómo fue que dijo? Chemistry. Sí, lo dije bien. Chemistry. Chemistry. Uh -huh. chemistry. Are you um bet in the say class? No, we aren't. My class in, is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I on my way to the cafe cafeteria. No, are you free? Sure, let's go. Perfect, thank you. Now, Joselino and uh, let's see, Carlos Cruz. Okay. Hey, David. How is this going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are you class interested the semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you a bed in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Uh, listen, I'm on my way uh, to the cafeteria now. Are uh, you free? 
Sure. Let's go. Perfect. Thank you. One more. Kathy Sines and Edith Ramirez. David, how how is going? Okay. Fine. Thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So I are you class interested in this semester? Uh, yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you embed in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I am on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Perfect, thank you. Very good practice, this one that we can uh, practice whenever we have a conversation here. Uh, just remember the, uh, the pronunciation is chemistry. Casi todas las palabras que va con CH, no todas. Pero la mayoría uh, se pronuncia como una eh, Q, como una Q. Chemistry in this case. Okay, so let's continue. And then we have the next lesson object that is by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make just no questions and give short answers with B. And then of course we have a little video, right? That is like the grammar for this one. After this, we have the famous 112 knowledge check. Uh, I guess everybody has done this exercise right now. Todos hicimos este ya, que es donde hemos tenido algunos inconvenientes. Recordemos que eh, hay que poner una respuesta larga. En las últimas dos creo que sí les acepta una corta, pero en las primeras no. Igual, cuidado con las comas, con los puntos, um, algunas mayúsculas. Y um, hay varias opciones para poner, pero uh, si usted pone una cosa que no va, o un espacio incluso, no se la toma bien. Entonces hay que tener cuidado con esa parte. ¿Alguna pregunta o duda con el 112? Any questions? Teacher, um, yes. you have a question. Go ahead. Uh, uh, how many times uh, do you for homework? Or, bueno, en español. ¿Cuánto tiempo tenemos para completar esto? Eh, toda la plataforma estamos hasta el último día de clase. Bueno, el anterior, el miércoles sería lo interesante terminarlo. Sin embargo, okay. eh, pueden ir a su ritmo. Eh, pueden hacerlo, hay personas que van anticipadas, que por ejemplo ahorita hay personas que ya van allá por el 3, se puede, se puede avanzar más, hay personas que no han iniciado todavía, pero sí es de ir como a la par para ir entendiendo también las clases acá, en cuanto al tiempo, por ejemplo, en el otro jueves vamos a estar revisando el midterm test, que sería exactamente la mitad, que sería el, el examen de medio ciclo, de medio eh, módulo entonces para ir más o menos a la par a mí me gusta siempre revisar la plataforma por cualquier cosa, pues rapidito verdad. Eh, y igual si tienen preguntas o dudas, algunos lo han hecho y me han escrito y pues ahí les hemos ayudado gracias you're welcome you. <laughs> ok ok, then we have the 113 lesson objective in this lesson participants will be able to read an article and to answer some comprehension questions so uh, oops we have a little reading here, right? That it was about, I don't remember. Ah, it was about names. Yeah, very interesting, this one. And then we have true and false uh, options here. Questions about this exercise? Any questions? No, teacher. Very good. Entonces, hasta aquí dejaremos la plataforma. And then we're going to move to our class. That is going to be about a new topic, it's vocabulary. It's a very easy topic, but anyways, we're going to get into that. Okay, so these are jobs and occupations, okay? What we're going to do right now is we're going to repeat. So please everybody repeat and check the pronunciation. Waiter. 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 Paramedic. 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 Dentist. 
Dentist. Dentist. Dentist. Dentist. Train conductor. Train, train, train conductor. conductor. Train conductor. Nurse. 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 Electrician. 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 Doctor. 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 Businessman. 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 Business American football player. American football player. Player. Student. 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 Sergeant. 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 Doorman. 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 Secretary. 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 Soldier. 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 Repairman. 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 Scientist. Scientist. Reporter. 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 Construction worker. Construction, Construction worker. 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 Okay, let's continue. Uh, professor. 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 Police officer. Police, Police officer. officer. Postman. Postman. Photographer. Photographer. Pilot. Pilot. Catholic nun. Catholic nun. Painter. 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 Mechanic. Mechanic. Magician. Magician. Lifeguard. 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 Lunch room supervisor. Lunch room supervisor. Clown. Clown. Housekeeper. Housekeeper. Gardener. 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 Geisha. 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 Footballer. 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 Forest Ranger. Forest, Forest Ranger. 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 Builder. 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 Foreman. <coughs> Farmer. Foreman. Foreman. Farmer. 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 Flight attendant. Flight, Flight attendant. attendant. Flight attendant. Fireman. 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 Engineer. 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 Carpenter. 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 Architect. 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 Very good. So now we're going to check the meaning. I know that you know some of those, so let's check. Uh, what is a waiter? Mesero. 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 De hecho, mesera se dice diferente. ¿Cómo sería mesera? ¿Alguien sabe? Waitress. Waitress. Ah, waitress. Waitress. Uh -huh. Con, uh, es, uh, aquí en la escritura le vamos a quitar la última E y luego le agregamos una E y dos S. Waitress. Okay. okay. What is paramedic? Paramédico. Paramédico. Good. Dentist. Dentista. Good. Train conductor. Doctor de tren. Conductor de tren. Nurse. Enfermera. Enfermera. Electrician. Electricista. Electricista. Doctor is very easy. Businessman. Hombre de negocio. American football player. Football American. Student is also very easy. So sergeant. Cirujano. Cirujano. Doorman. Botones. Botones. You can say also bellboy. Bellboy is another name for that one. 
Secretary is very easy. Soldier is very easy. Repairman. What is repairman? Hombre reparador. Alguien que repara algo. Good. Scientist. Científico. Científico. Reporter. Reportera. Okay. And then we move to the top and uh, professor. 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 What is the difference between teacher and professor? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> teacher is for high school and things like that. Professor is for the university. Oh. No. Okay. Ah. So it's not the same, okay? Uh, okay, uh, the other one, police officer, what is that? Policía. Oficial de policía. Oficial de policía. Postman. Cartero. Photographer. Fotógrafo. Fotógrafo. Pilot. Piloto. Piloto. Catholic nun. Monja. 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 Bueno, ahí dice monja católica, pero monja, ¿verdad? Nun is monja. Then painter. Pintor. Pintor. Mechanic. Mecánico. 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 Magician. Mago. Mago. Lifeguard. Eh, Guardavidas. Guardavidas. Lunch room supervisor. Supervisor de área de comida. Uh -huh. Very good. Supervisor de área de comida. Clown. Payaso. 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 Housekeeper. Ama de casa. Eh, Ama de casa. No. Eh, no. Mucama. Doméstica. Como mucama. Uh -huh. Como mucama. Yeah. Very good. Mucama. Doméstica. Something like that. Okay. A gardener. Jardinero. Jardinero. Geisha. 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 <laughs> geisha. Geisha is geisha. Footballer. Árbitro. Eh, por árbitro. Árbitro. Mm, no es árbitro. Eh, sí, podría ser algo así como un portero, alguien que, mm. que maneja las bolas. Uh, forest Ranger. Eh, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, geisha es como un artista tradicional, ¿verdad? Sí, algo así, es una tradición en, en Japón, es algo muy... Japonesa. Muy Ajá. En el que ellas ah, se visten yes. y entretenían a, a, a las personas y cosas. Es que era como un artista, something like that. Ah, ya. Gracias. Good. Uh, forest Ranger. Guardabosque. Guardabosque. Nice. Builder. Constructor. Constructor. Oh, good. Foreman. Uh, ¿Es bombero? No. Fireman. No. Foreman es como alguien uh, que repara muchas cosas, que da mantenimiento. Some like that. Okay. Okay. Por ejemplo, en los edificios hay mucho, mucho en conserje, Estados Unidos. ¿Conserje tipo conserje? Algo así. No es solo conserje, porque un janitor, eso se dice janitor, janitor. es uh -huh. alguien que como que limpia, ¿verdad? Y arregla cosas chicas. En cambio, un foreman le da mantenimiento. Es decir, él pasa y dice, pues esto necesita pintura, hay que pintarlo y hay que arreglar esto y cambiar esto. O sea, no solo repara algo que está roto, sino que anticipadamente va cambiando cosas. Good. Uh, farmer. What is a farmer? Granjero. 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 Flight attendant. Eh, Aeromosa. Aeromosa. Azafata. Azafata. Yeah, good. Fireman. Bombero. 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 Engineer. Ingeniero. Ingeniero. Carpenter. Carpintero. Architect. Arquitecto. Arquitecto. Good, good, my friend. So now we have checked some vocabulary. Now. Uh, ¿Cómo se pregunta cuál es tu profesión? What, what do, you, you do? What do what you do? do, you do? Good. So that is the question. What do you do? I am. I am a professor. I'm a teacher. I'm an electrician. So you can say something like that. Okay. Good. To continue, we're going to do a little reading. Um, sure. Yeah, go ahead. No, I want a question. Is it's okay? Question, um, uh, what's your profession? You can say that. You can say what is your profession or what is your occupation? Okay, what is your profession? Probably it's more common to say okay. what is your occupation. 
se puede preguntar de esa Tampoco manera. Eso. Solo que eso es como, como muy formal. Quizá en una entrevista muy formal de trabajo le dirían, what's your occupation? Algo por el estilo. O what is your, uh, si quieren preguntarle su carrera, le pueden preguntar, what is your major? And your answer is, I have a major in business administration. I have a major en cualquier cosa. Um, lo más común es decir, what do you do? Y es una de las pocas preguntas que se pregunta, valga la redundancia, con do y se responde con el verbo to be. Verbo. What do you do? I am a doctor. So. Pero sí se puede. De poder se puede decir, what's your occupation? What's your profession? Uh, what's your major? There are many ways for you to ask things. Okay, my friends, we're going to read uh, this little thing. Uh, it says, world of work, jobs. So, for first of all, as usual, we're going to repeat. Okay? Luego vamos a ver ahí el true or false. Si quieren, podemos ver ante las preguntas. Uh, dice la pregunta número uno. Workers wear blue clothes. Nurses look for people. Salary is the money you get for your work. Many people go to foreign countries to earn money. Those who employ people are vicious. If the company, no, is the, if the economy is developing, the unemployment rate decreases. Yeah, decreases. Um, maybe here a question might be foreign. Do you know what is foreign? Foreign countries in number five. Es a la, como la, afuera de... Sí, países extranjeros. And earn money. Do you know what is earn? Ganar, como ganar dinero. Very good. ¿Y cuál sería la diferencia entre earn y win? Mm, tal vez que win es como de competencia. Very good. Win is when you win a prize or a competition. Earn is when you work for something because you deserve you earn that one okay uh bueno vamos a hacer la lectura entonces uh, please repeat everybody of course después vamos a leer ¿verdad? that is the objective here so everybody please repeat there are two main types of jobs there are two main, there are two there main types, two types, of, types jobs. of jobs blue collar and white collar <coughs> jobs Blue collar jobs include physical effort. Blue collar jobs include physical effort. And you need a good skill at doing something with your hand. And you need a good skill at doing something with your hand. These professions are a brick layer. Who builds houses? Who builds houses? A driver. A driver. Who drives a vehicle? Who drives, who drives a, vehicle. a vehicle? A dressmaker. A dressmaker. Who makes clothes? Who makes clothes? Who makes clothes. A shop assistant, a shop, a shop shop assistant. assistant who works in a shop, who works, who works, in, a shop. Who works in a shop, and many others. And many, many others. others. White collar workers, white collar workers, collar workers, are who use their mind in their job. I'm sorry, works. Are who use their mind in their, their, their work. Works. Who generally work inside. Who generally work inside. They are, for example, teachers. They, they, they are, are, they are for example, teachers. Teacher. Engineers, managers, secretaries. Engin engineers, engineers, managers, managers secretaries. secretaries. Lawyers and many others. Lawyers, Lawyers and many others. There are different factors. There are different, there are different, factors, are different, factors, different factors which define our job choice. 
with our job the first is our interest if the first, the first is, is our interest, our interest. If you are interested in looking after people, if you are, you are interested in looking after people. people, you can be a nurse. You can, you can be, be a, a nurse. nurse. You can be a nurse. A doctor, a teacher, or a social worker. A doctor, a teacher, or a social worker. It depends on your special interest. It depends, it depends on, on your social special interest. interest. The second factor is the salary. The second, the factor, second is factor, is factor is the, the salary. salary. So, I'm gonna move here. Some people choose their profession. Some people, Some people choose, choose their profession. profession. Not for their interest, but for a higher salary. A lot of school leavers choose the career. A lot of school leavers choose the career. As a lawyer because it's well known. As a lawyer because it's well known. Well known. Well known. Oh, no. No. That they earn much money. That, that they, they earn, earn much, much money. Much money. The third but very important factor is your ability. The third but the third, third but, 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 but very important factor ability. is your ability. If you aren't ability. good at languages, if you, if you, you aren't, if you aren't you good at language. You can be an interpreter. You can be an interpreter. But if you are strong and like working outside, but, but you, are, you, are you are strong and like working outside, outside, you can be a construction worker. You can, you can be, be a construction worker. worker. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Nowadays, there is an economical crisis. Nowadays, Nowadays there, there is, is an economical, economical crisis. crisis. So there are a lot of unemployed people. So there so are, are a lot of unemployed people, people who cannot find any jobs. Who, who cannot, cannot find any, any jobs. jobs. That's why a lot of young men that's, that's why, why a lot of, a lot of men, men, men go abroad to make a living. Go abroad, go abroad to, make to, make a a to make a living. If you cannot find a job for six months, if, if, you, if can, you cannot if you find, can a job find a job for, for six, six months, months, you can get unemployment benefits. You can, you can get, you can get, get the 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 but only if you have a six month period employment. But only if you have a six month period employment. The unemployment benefit is very little money in Hungary. The, the employment, employment benefit is very little money, little money in, in Hungary. Hungary. It is not enough to buy food. It is not, it is not enough, it is not to, enough, enough to buy food, food and to pay bills. And to pay, and bills. To pay, to pay bills. 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 So a lot of people live under the living standard. So, so a lot of people, a lot of live, people under live under the living, under living, living standard. standard. Government wants to help these people. Government, government wants, wants to help wants these, to people. Help these, these people. people and give money those employment employers and, and give and money, give those, money employers, those employers, employers who take on hands and give them work who take on hands and give them, and give them work, work. work for a longer period for a longer, for a longer period, period. 
generally for a year. Generally for a year. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it is a vicious circle. It is a vicious, a vicious circle. A vicious circle. Because poor workers become unemployment. Because poor, 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 poor workers, workers become, become employment. An employer after after a year again. After, after a, year a year again. again. Because it isn't worth employing them. Because, because it, it isn't, isn't worth employing, employing, them. employing them any longer, but rather any. employing. Any longer, rather employing, employing new workers to get financial support from the government. New workers, new workers to, to get financial support from, from the government. The unemployment rate in Hungary. The, the unemployment, unemployment rate, rate, rate in Hungary is between six to ten percent. It is between, between six, six to ten percent. It depends on the prosperity of economy. It depends, it depends on of the, the prosperity, prosperity of the economy. economy. Nowadays, the bank crisis, Nowadays, the bank crisis, bank crisis has produced a lot of unemployed people. Has, has produced, produced a, lot a lot of employed, employed people. people. Good. First thing we're going to uh, do the exercise. Number one, workers wear blue cloths. False. 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 That is false. Number two, nurses look for people. True. 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 Very good. Number True. three, salary is the money you get for your work. True. 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 Number five, many people go to foreign countries to earn money. True. 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 Number six, those who employ people are vicious. False. False. That false. is false. Good. And number seven, if the economy is developing, the unemployment rate decreases. True. 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 Okay, very well. Now we're going to check some vocabulary. Este reading estuvo un poco más largo y hay muchas otras palabras que vamos a revisar. So, for example, there are two main. What is main? Mucha. No. No, that is many. Principal. Principal. Entonces, hay dos principales tipos, ¿verdad? Dice ahí. There are two main types of jobs. Blue collar and white collar. Blue collar jobs include physical effort. What is effort? Esfuerzo. Esfuerzo. Very good. So blue collars include physical effort and you need good skill. What is skill? Habilidades. Habilidades. Good. At doing something with your hand. This profession are brick layer. Do you know what is a brick layer? No. 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 Es alguien que pega ladrillos, que solo hace eso. No es un albañil entero, sino que solo pega ladrillos. Bricklayer. Okay. Who builds houses? A driver who drives a vehicle. You know what is a driver, right? Dressmaker. What is a dressmaker? Yes. Eh, como costurera. Costurera. Okay. That you can say also a tailor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who makes clothes. A shop assistant. What is a shop assistant? Asistente de Asistente Who works in a shop and many others. Why color workers are who use their mind. What is mind? Mente. Como cerebro. Mente. Very good. So, lo que dice, ¿verdad? They are for uh, well, white color. They use their mind in their words. Who generally work inside. What is inside? Adentro. Adentro. Interior. Interior, adentro. Good. Then it says there are, for example, teachers. We know what is a teacher, engineer, manager. What is a manager? Gerentes. Good. Gerentes. Secretaries, lawyers. What are lawyers? Abogados. Abogado. Very good. And many others. 
there are different factors. What are factors? Factors. Very good. Factores. Factores. Which define our job choice. What is job choice? Opción de trabajo. Opción de trabajo. Good. The first is our interest. Uh, if you are interested in looking after people, what is to look after people? Look after. Entrevista. Cuando vayan un poquito más adelantados, van a ver algo que se llama phrasal verbs. Los phrasal verbs son verbos que se le ponen preposiciones o conjunciones, una palabra a la par. Y con cada conjunción, preposición que se le ponga es diferente. Por ejemplo, no es lo mismo decir uh, get out que get in o que get down. Los tres usan get, que es el mismo verbo. Pero los tres significan algo diferente. Así nos pasa con look. Look after quiere decir cuidar persona. Ok. So let's continue. Uh, you can be a nurse, a doctor, a teacher, or a social worker. It depends on your special interest. The second factor is the salary. Some people choose their profession not for their interest, but for a higher salary. Uh, what is higher salary? Alto salario. Salario. Alto. Salario más alto. Good. A lot of school uh, leavers, estos son como los que van saliendo de la escuela, la gente que se va graduando. Choose the career. What is career? Carrera. Very good. So they choose the career as a lawyer because it's well known. What is well known? Ellos saben. No. Bien conocido. Bien conocido. Very good. Entonces, es bien conocido, dice ahí, that they earn, como dijimos allá, ganan much money. The third but very important factor is your ability. If you aren't good at languages, you can be an interpreter. What is an interpreter? Interpreter. 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 But if you are strong, what is strong? Fuerte. Fuerte. Good. And like working outside, what is outside? Fuera. Fuera. Okay. You can be a construction worker. Unfortunately, nowadays, what is nowadays? En estos días. En estos días. Very good. There is an economical crisis. So there are a lot of unemployed people. What is unemployed? Desempleado. Desempleado. Very good. Who cannot find any job. Uh, en esa frase que dice, cannot find any jobs. No puede encontrar uh, ningún trabajo. No hay ningún trabajo. Good. That's why a lot of young men go abroad. What is to go abroad? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, go abroad is irse al extranjero, irse lejos. Okay, to make a living. What is to make a living? Hacer una vida. Algo por el estilo, es como para ganarse la vida. Iniciar una vida nueva. Sería ganarse la vida. O sea, eso de hecho es una manera en la que ustedes le pueden preguntar qué hacen. También es común. So, uh, le pueden decir, uh, what do you do to make a living? Ahí es exacto como what do you do. It's the same. So, you can say, oh, I'm a doctor, I'm a nurse, whatever you want to say, okay? Then he says, if you cannot find a job for six months, you can get unemployed benefits but only if you had a six month period employment. Eso es bien interesante. ¿Se entiende esa frase? Todo lo que dice esa parte. En yes. contexto, sí. No sé si estaré correcto. A ver, ¿quién me ayuda a decirle en español? Que si no encuentra trabajo en seis meses, puede eh, como solicitar uh -huh. un beneficio de desempleado, pero solo si ha pasado seis meses del periodo de desempleado. No desempleado, sino el, está perfecto solo la última parte, porque dice, solo si tuviste un periodo okay. de, de haber sido empleado por seis meses. O sea, de que okay. si se quedó desempleado, pero trabajó seis meses, le ayuda el gobierno. Ok. So, then it says, the unemployment benefit is very little money. What is very little money? Very little money. Very little money. 
Muy poco dinero. dinero. Muy poco dinero. In Hungary, what is Hungary? Do you remember? Hambre. Hungría. Hungría. Yeah, eso lo vimos allá en los countries and nationalities. Uh, and then it says it is not enough. What is not enough? No más. No es suficiente. No es suficiente. No es, no es suficiente. Right. To buy food and pay bills. What is to pay bills? Pagar facturas. Pagar facturas. Pagar, cuenta. Pagar cuenta facturas. Good. So a lot of people live under the living standard. What is under? Debajo. Good. Debajo. 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 So government Debajo. wants to help these people and give money. Those employers who take, uh, what is employers? Empleado. Empleado. Empleadores. 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 Entonces, employee es empleado. Employers es empleador. ¿Ok? Who take on hands and give them work for a longer period. Generally for a year. Eh, esto es interesante porque según lo que dice en Hungría, también a las empresas que tienen gente trabajando hasta por un año, les dan un beneficio de dinero. Unfortunately, it's a vicious circle. What is a vicious circle? Círculo vicioso. Círculo vicioso. Círculo vicioso. Because poor, what is poor? Pobre. 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 Poor workers become unemployment after a year again because it isn't worth, what is worth? What is it? No funciona. Ah, no funciona. No vale la pena. Algo así es. Entonces lo que dice es de que Después de un año, las empresas despiden a la gente porque como ya no les van a dar beneficio, mejor contratan uno nuevo. So that's not good. Uh, it says unemployable any longer, but rather, what is rather? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No. Okay, rather is like prefer. O sea, que prefieren. Prefieren emplear nuevos trabajadores. They prefer. Okay. But you can say rather, rather. Uh, to get financial support. What is financial support? Soporte financiero. Soporte financiero. Soporte, apoyo financiero. Good. Apoyo. Good. The unemployment rate. What is unemployment rate? Rango de desempleados. Very good. Something like that. Eh, la tasa de desempleo. Okay. And then it says in Hungary is between. What is between? Dentro, entre, o en medio. Entre, 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 entre. Good. And then it says, it depends on the prosperity of economy. Nowadays, the bank crisis has produced a lot of unemployed people. Any question? Preguntas? No. Acá hay no. bastante vocabulario. Como les decía ayer, en las reading se encuentran muchas cosas interesantes. Incluso, pues, el reading entero está muy interesante. Ok, uh, we have a few minutes. We are going to read. Vamos a leer, pero lo vamos a hacer entre todos. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Um, uno va a empezar a leer y cuando yo le diga stop, el siguiente va a continuar donde se quedó. Ok. okay. Are you ready? Ok. So you need okay. to pay attention. You need to pay attention. So uh, you listen where you need to start. Vamos a poner atención para saber dónde vamos. Ok. Humberto, you're going to start. There are two there are two main types of jobs blue collars and white collars jobs blue collar jobs include physical effort and you need a good skill at uh, doing something with your hand okay this then, profession okay that is it Uh, va a continuar, creo que es Jorge, pero solo le veo el correo donde dice jockkiwi at gmail.com. Okay. okay. This profession are a brick layer. We build houses, a driver, we raise a bacon, a dressmaker, we make clothes, a shop assistant who works in a shop in many of them. With color workers are walls are whose they main and their works, who generally work inside. They are, for example, teachers, engineers, managers, secretaries, lawyers, and many others. Okay, stop there. 
is going to continue cutting Melendez. There are different factors which define our job choice. The first is our interest. If you are interested in look and look after people, you can be a nurse, a doctor, a teacher, or a social worker. Okay. okay. Stop there. Thank you. Uh, it's going to continue Juan Alvajero. No, no veo bien ese, ese texto y no sé ni a dónde va. Uh, lo vamos a hacer un poco más grande, aunque va a ser un poco más complicado estar moviendo la pantalla. ¿Lo alcanza a leer ahí? Sí, pero no lo veo bien, no lo veo bien. Mm, qué raro. ¿Los demás lo ven bien? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. teacher. Ok, lo que vamos yes, a hacer entonces yes. es que vamos a... Vamos a continuar con otra persona, ok? Ok, ok. Ok, let's see. Uh, let's see, hold on a second. Lo vamos a hacer otra vez como estaba. Oh my goodness. And it's going to be like this. I guess something like that is fine, right? Vamos a ver. Yeah, probably something like that. Okay. Uh, and we're going to move it here. Uh, okay, va a continuar entonces. Uh, Edith Ramirez. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, no moving, no moving. Uh, y aquí. It depends. It depends on your special interest. The second factor is the salary. Some people choose their profession not for their interest, but for a higher salary. A lot of school living, living liver. those, liver, sorry, livers choose the, car the career as a lawyer because it's, uh, it's well known we, it's well known that they im earn earn they earn much money okay there maribel you're going to continue the beer but very important factory is your ability is you is you adding adding good uh, at language, you can be, be in, in interpreters, but if you are strong and like working inside, you can be a construct worker. Okay, there, that is fine. Fabiola, please continue. Okay, okay. Um, mm. I mean, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, nowadays there is an economical crisis. So there are a lot of unplayed people, um, sorry, people uh, who cannot find any job. That was a lot of young men go abroad to make a living. Okay, if that is fine, thank you. Eileen Racinos, please. Me perdí, perdón. Aquí donde dice, if you cannot find. Okay. If you cannot find a job for six months, you can get unemployment benefit, but only if you have a six month period employment. The unemployment benefit is very little money is in Hungary. Okay, that is fine. Thank is... you. Susie, you are going to continue.
Hello. Okay, uh, I guess she's not here. Uh, Carla Alas. <coughs> Not hit either, Carla. Okay, Erling, Lainez. It is not enough to buy food and to pay bills. So a lot of people live under the living standard. Government wants to help these people and give money to employees, employers who take one hand in giving them words for a longer period, general for a year. Okay, thank you. Next is Jorge Antonio. Unfortunately, it is a vicious circle because poor workers become unemployment after a year again because it isn't worth employing them any longer, but rather employing new workers to get financial support from the government. Perfect, thank you. It's going to continue Katie Orantes. Uh, the employer rate in Hungary, it's between six and 10, no me acuerdo como dijo, por per ciento. Percent. 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 Uh -huh. percent. Yep. Uh, is between six and ten percent. It depends on the prosperity of economy. Nowadays, the bank crisis has produced a lot of unemployed people. Okay, it's going to start Gabriel Argueta. There are two main types of the job, blue collar and white collar jobs. Blue collar jobs include eyes, oh, no, sorry. physical. <laughs> A physical effort and you need a good skill at doing something with your hand. Okay, thank you. Coselino. These profession are a bricklayer who builds house, a drive, who drives a vehicle, a dressmaker, who makes clothes and shop assistant, who works in a shop and many others. Thank you. It's going to continue Carlos Cruz. White collar, white collar, collar as uh, white collar workers are who use their mind in their work, who generate work inside. They are for example, teacher, David, manager, secretary, lawyer, and many others. Perfect, thank you. Kathy Sines. Okay. There are different factors which define our, our job choice. The fear is our interest. If you are interested in looking after people, you can be a nurse a doctor, a teacher, or a social worker. Thank you. Kayla Lopez. Second factor is the salary. Some people choose their profession not for their interest, but for a higher salary. A lot of school leavers to their career as a lawyer because well, mm -mm. that they earn much money. Thank you. Edith Ramirez. I'm sorry, me perdí. Acá donde dice the third but very important. Okay. The third but very important factor is your ability. If, if you aren't good at language, you can be an interpreter. But if you are strong and like working outside, you can be a construction worker. Thank you. Vilma. Thank you. Vilma Lisette. 
unfortunately, no, no, nowadays there is an economical crisis, so there are a lot of employed people who cannot think and job. That's why a lot of young men go abroad to make a living. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, I know that there are some people that they have not read, but we need to finish because it's kind of late, right? So uh, before we finish, any question? Not teacher. No. Not teacher. No. Okay, no. so see you tomorrow. I have a good night. Rest very well. And uh, well, not tomorrow, but Monday, right? <laughs> See okay. you on Monday. See you Monday. <laughs> okay. Okay. Monday. Bye. Bye bye. Bye teacher. Bye teacher. Bye. Bye teacher. Good night. Good night.